Hello fellow peasants. Today I'm going to be talking about 1974's original The Wicker Man. Uh, so I always heard of this movie. Um, people always said it was like a staple of 70s horror. Um, so I decided to check it out a year or so ago. Uh, popped it in and it was not uh, quite what I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, it's a lot of people seem to think that it's uh, a horror film, but it's not. It's not really. Uh, it's kind of like a um, weird detective movie uh, in a way. It's more of like a uh, suspense or thriller, I guess. There's not a lot of scary elements in the movie. Basically, this guy, uh, this cop or detective, is sent to this aisle up in Scotland to investigate this missing girl. And he gets to this island, and um, mind you, the, the cop or the detective in this film is a very like religious uh, Christian guy, and so he's pretty straight-laced, and he gets up to this aisle, and uh, these people are, um, you know, they're like witches or pagan, uh, and so he's kind of creeped out by them a little bit, and he's not quite used to their customs and their way of life. And so he's trying to get answers out of these people, trying to figure out where this girl could be. Nothing's really adding up. Nothing's really making any sense. And I can't really go further than that in terms of story because it it would it would spoil it. I think. Um, so I'm not going to go any further into the story. Um, in terms of cinematography, uh, the film is great. It's excellent. This is the what's called the final cut. So this is this has some scenes thrown in that were originally missing from like the theatrical cut. I guess there's like two or three cuts of this film. It's hard to keep track um, of what is legit and what isn't legit. Uh, but anyway, so some of the scenes in this uh, look a little rough because they're not polished. They're obviously old footage that's been laying around that's been thrown back in later on to kind of make the film make more sense. Um, so I guess this is considered the, the best cut, the final cut. Um, that's probably subjective, you know. I guess it all depends on your perspective. Uh, what version is the best? Um, but cinematography is great. It's typical 70s cinematography, which I love. A lot of wide open shots, not a whole lot of movement to the camera, a lot of still shots. Um, the pacing's great. You never, you never, you. I was never bored watching it. The um, the story is really good. Um, you really believe in what's going on here. They do a really good job of creating this this world of Northern European pagan uh, culture. Uh, it's really impressive how they have taken some of the stuff that's actually true and relevant in that culture and, and put it into this. Some of it's complete BS, I'm sure, but uh, some of the stuff they say in the film is like, oh, okay, well, that's actually, um, you know, a belief, you know, in, in paganism. Um, overall, I would give the film a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's as good as a lot of people claim it is. I, I think that's because, you know, you go into it thinking uh, it's going to be this scary movie, and it's really not. It's just a really weird detective film, and there's not a whole lot of horror elements to it. It's just a very bizarre movie. And you're kind of on the you're kind of on the ride with this cop the whole time. You're kind of like these people are a bit off. They're not really giving him all the information he needs. And uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know what else to say about it other than check it out. Like I said, 1974 is The Wicker Man. Really good film. Uh, just not top tier for me. Just not top of the list. So I'm gonna give it like a 6.5. 7 out of 10, somewhere around there. Um, I just I think it's something I, I might pop in every two or three years just to check it out again. But um, 
yeah, it's not a not a, not a ten out of ten. It's not an exorcist for me or anything like that in terms of horror. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope uh, this video gives you an idea of whether you want to check this movie out or not. If you haven't seen it already, if you have seen it, let me know what you think about it. Sorry, I couldn't go into more detail about the story. It's just, you know, once you watch it, you'll realize why I can't tell you much. <laughs> But uh, other than that, have a great day. I appreciate you guys watching the channel and peace out.